it's t-shirt weather again. Join me today as I work with an existing t-shirt to create my own pattern without any math. Creating my own pattern allows me to make any size or alter any style. It's easy. Grab your freezer paper, your pencil, and a t-shirt, and let's get started. Okay, to start with, let's make the pattern. Now, patterns have gotten way out of line as far as expense goes. So we're going to make a t-shirt pattern using nothing more than freezer paper, okay, and a t-shirt that fits. Just folded my t-shirt in half, and I'm going to lay the fold along one cut edge of the freezer paper. I want to make sure that I've got at least an inch beyond the bottom of my t-shirt because that's where the hem's going to be. So this is along the, the fold or the, the edge of the paper to start. Then all I need is a pencil. And if you wanted to use a ruler, you could. I'm just going to freehand this, giving myself about half an inch to an inch from the, the seam allowance here or where the seams match. I, I know I have to add a seam allowance, so I, that's why I'm making it just a little bit larger than the actual t-shirt. So, okay, and come right up to the arm side like that. Now my arm side, or the opening for my arm, I am going to cut a, a sleeve for this. Let's fold this back. I'm just going to give myself some allowance for the seam and go right up here to the shoulder. Okay, give yourself some allowance for the seam. Remember, if it's too big, you can always trim off more. So don't panic. We're going to put this on the serger. So it's going to trim everything as we go. But this is going to give me a basic t-shirt pattern. Okay, now I do have a, of course, a neckline here. And what I'm going to do, something a little different, because rather than do an A, ribbing at my neckline. I'm just going to fold it down and stitch. So actually just tracing along the outside edge of where the the neckline is works fine. So that's going to be right along the edge. But here you can see where I've given myself a little bit of extra space. And again, remember, you can always trim this back if it's too big. Easy to do. Okay, so there's my back. So I'm going to move this off here and just label it back. Okay, and now we're going to fold the t-shirt the other direction to get the front. You can, if you want, use the same piece of paper, but this time all you're going to do is give yourself the front neckline. So I can tuck that other neckline down. That's the very back. We're just going to tuck that in and get it out of the way. And then I have, starting at the same place, I'm going to just give myself that little scoop line. And then I have my front neckline. And we can do the sleeves the same way. We're going to get one side here. And we're going to mark the center and the center. I want to give myself a hemline again because I'm not going to use a ribbing. I'm just going to turn it up. Okay. And then I'm going to give myself a little bit of seam allowance here at the edge. So I've got my half inch hem and I've got my seam allowance built in. Now since this is half, I'm not going to have a lot. I can just fold it over and trace it or just cut it on the front of the market as the fold. Okay, then the only thing else I need to do is do the top part of the sleeve. 
and I'm just folding my shirt out of the way. Get that all gone and make sure that the sleeve is laid nice and flat and it is. Okay, for the seam allowance and here is my sleeve. So I've got my sleeve and I've got my front and my back. Now just cut this out and I can go ahead and get started with cutting my fabric. After I've cut out my pattern, I've gone ahead and taken my fabric and what I've done with it is I've folded the edges in towards the center. So I've got two folds, one on this side and one on this side. Okay, and then I can take my pattern piece we just cut out, lay that along the fold, and if you want it, since this is freezer paper, you could press this onto your fabric and cut, or you could just go ahead and use magnets or whatever you've got. I don't like to use pins because it tends to wrinkle whatever it is I'm trying to cut. So I just use weights, and then I can take my rotary cutter and go right around the edges. And there's my back. So I'm gonna go ahead now and cut out my front. I'm working with an all over print. There's no direction to it. So I can flip my pattern going the opposite direction to cut the other half of my, my shirt. But if you're working with a one way directional pattern, flip the pattern over so that you have the uh, pattern going all the same direction on your t-shirt. By cutting the back first and doing the higher neckline, now when I'm doing the front and need to cut the lower neckline, I can cut right through the pattern piece and get my neck. Now that your pattern is ready, cut out your t-shirt and sew along with me in my next video in putting your t-shirt together. We'll be using a cover hem and a serger. There are even some tips on how to unstitch a serger seam. We'll look for you next time on Susan So Creative, where it's only wrong when it doesn't work.